Okay, uh, hello everyone, and uh, for today I'm free, so that's why I have much uh, uh, free time uh, to learn English, and I also want to say to you uh, the way I often do when I have free time that um, I will select uh, several short stories like this, yeah, or as you can see, and then I will read and for the words I do not understand, I will do English dictionary to translate to help me to understand, okay. So I think if you do this for a long time, around um, uh, three months or six months, uh, you can improve most of your uh, speaking and also for your uh, reading. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so for uh, today uh, lesson, right? Firstly, I will read this uh, short story. Then I will uh, translate and explain uh, the meaning uh, of my. Uh, several uh, new words for all of you. Uh, perhaps you already understand the meaning of this words or you do not, but uh, through my explanation, you can uh, clearly right, understand uh, the meaning of these words and know in which uh, situation we can uh, apply this word. Okay. So firstly, uh, I will read uh, the story, Controlling Anger. There was once a young boy who had problem controlling his temper. When he became angry, he would just say anything that came to his mind and hurt uh, people. So his father gave him a bag of nails and a hammer and said, Every time you get angry, hammer one nail into the fence in our backyard. The first few days, the boy hammered so many nails that he emptied half of the bag over the weeks. The number of nails he hammered to the fence reduced and uh, gradually. His temper was much in control. Then uh, came a day when he didn't lose his uh, temper at all. His father asked him to remove one nail each day that he manages not to lose his temper. Uh, finally, on the day the child was removing uh, the last nail, his father says, You had done well, a boy, but do you see the horse in the world? The friend is never going to be the same, even after repenting. Likewise, when you say mean thing in anger, you will leave a scar in person mind, as the nails did not to the friends. Moral lesson. Anger is a dangerous weapon like a knife. When you put a knife in a man and throw it out, the wound heals, but the scar remains. Yeah, it is a great uh, story, right? Yeah. So uh, I guess as you already understand uh, this uh, uh, story, right? It is so simple, but um, the lesson is so crazy. So that's why I selected this uh, short stories to uh, read. Okay, now I will explain uh, the meaning of the word uh, anger, right? Anger, it is now. This means the strong feeling that you have when something has happened. What you think is bad and unfair. And we have one example, how we use the word anger like this. She had to find a way to express her uh, pent-up anger. Uh, pent-up uh, anger, as uh, you understand, uh, for this lady, right? He uh, uh, feel angry right? for a long time. And uh, for this anger is uh, accumulated. So that's why we use the phrase pent-up anger. Okay. And for the second word, now, it is now, right? Yeah, in this uh, uh, context, right? In this story, uh, the meaning of the word now like this. A small tin pointed piece of metal with a flat head due for joining pieces of wood together or hanging things on the wall. We have only symbol like this. She hammered the nail in. Okay. She hammered the nail in. Hammers, right? On a kind of metal. Uh, perhaps it is not a metal, but usually it is metal, right? We use to put the nail into uh, the wood or uh, into the wall. Yeah. And uh, next uh, vocabulary, uh, reduce, right? It is verb. It's meant to make something less or smaller in size, quantity, price, etc. To become less or smaller in size, quantity, etc. Right? Reduce uh, verb. And we have on the sample, giving up smoking reduces the risk of a heart disease. Yeah, heart disease, we miss about the disease related to your heart, right? Uh, yeah. So if you uh, stop smoking, so you can uh, reduce right the risk of uh, 
or heart disease. So it means a joint health is better and you can live uh, longer. And next was a uh, remove. It is verb. It means to touch somebody or something away from a place. We have an example like this. Illegally parked vehicles will be removed. Yes, through this sentence, we understand for uh, the place where we park the vehicles, right? Um, uh, there is one spe uh, specific uh, place. And for all of the drivers, when they park uh, their vehicles, they need to pass in these uh, areas, right? And if other people pass in another people, uh, it is not in a packing uh, vehicle. So um, for other people, they will remove uh, those vehicles. It means that they will touch uh, those vehicles and uh, put in other places. Okay. And next was a scar. It is now, it means a mark that is left on the skin after a wound has got better. Yeah, it is uh, gray, right? Uh, it is uh, so easy to understand this word. And we have on example, a scar on his check. Yeah, a scar on his check, right? Yes, and uh, checks you understand? Uh, your face, right? But it is a uh, left and a uh, right and uh, your face. Yeah. Okay, so I already read uh, this uh, story, right? And explaining uh, several uh, new words uh, to all of you. And now we will uh, change uh, uh, this uh, short story, right? Uh, according to uh, sentences, okay? Let me read again uh, the first sentence. There was once a young boy who had a problem controlling his uh, temper, right? So through this sentence, you understand for this guy, um, he's uh, easily uh, uh, fierce, angry, right? With other people and cannot control his uh, temper. Yeah. And when he became angry, he would just say anything that uh, came to his mind and hurt uh, people, right? It is so dangerous now for this boy because when he feels angry, right? He say, uh, uh, many best words to other people and he does not care about other people uh, thinking yeah so because uh, his father right recognize uh, recognize it about that it is so dangerous with that kind of uh, characteristics so that's why his father gave him right a bag of nails and a hammer and said every time you get angry hammer one nail into the fence in our backyard so through this sentence you understand that uh, uh, this father's right, uh, teach her for uh, this boy that for every time when you feel angry, so let's put the nail yeah, into the fence, right, in our backyard. Yeah. So when one nail is uh, put this, uh, into the fence, it means uh, one time uh, that boy uh, feel angry, right? Okay. And for the first few days, the boy hammered so many nails that he emptied uh, half of the bed. So it means in the first few days, right? He often feel angry, yeah, and already you half of the nail bags, yeah, to uh, hammer uh, into the fence, okay? And over the weeks, uh, over the weeks, right? For next uh, several weeks, right? The number of nails he hammers uh, to the fence reduced and gradually his tempers were most in control, right? Yeah, so. Uh, in next uh, several weeks, right, he reduced uh, to hammer the nails into the fence, right, and his temper was most in control. Uh, then came a day when he didn't lose his temper at all. His father asked him to remove one nail each day that he manages not to lose his temper, right. So uh, came uh, one day, right, when he didn't lose his temper at all, and he can uh, absolutely uh, manage his uh, Temper, right? And his uh, father asked him uh, to remove one nail each day, right? Each day just remove one nail. Remember that he manages uh, not to lose his uh, tempers. And finally, uh, on the day the child was removing the last nail, his father said, You had done well, boy, but did you see the horse in uh, the world, right? Yes, and father, our father asked uh, the, his uh, son, right? Yes, want to teach the lesson for him. The fans in never going to be the same even after repenting, right? After repenting that you use the pen uh, to um, to cover the holes, right? Create this by the nails. Uh, likewise, when you say uh, mean things in anger, you will leave a scar in a person's mind as the nails did uh, to the fence. Yeah, it is a great uh, lesson, right? So moral, a yeah, moral lesson that anger is a dexterous weapon like a knife when you put a knife in a man and uh, draw it out, the wound heals, but the scars uh, remain. So through this uh, 
stories we have on a lesson for us, right? We need to be careful about the words we choose to talk to other people. Even though we are, at the time, right, we are being angry. We feel so angry, but like and thought about the words. Even at the time, you have, uh, you, you feel angry, right? And you, you bad words to talk to other people. You uh, criticize other people. And perhaps just at the time, and you... If uh, in uh, your normal emotion, right, you did not uh, say uh, the words, but uh, you remember for the words you already talked to other people, and uh, even uh, those later, uh, you uh, feel no, uh, you feel normal, right? You also like that person, but for that person, uh, they're not like you, and still remember about the bad words you already talked to that guy. So let's be careful in using uh, the words to talk to other people, and uh, it is really important. If you want to have a happy life, right, have a good life, you need to absolutely manage your temper, yeah, and carefully in using the words to talk to other people. Okay, thanks uh, all of you for watching this video and hopefully that you like this.